Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just had a very serious dream. I'm just out of the bed, so forgive my appearance. I'm fighting a cold. And listen, I had a dream about attack on an attack on American soil. I've never had a dream like this before. One time I had one quick vision, but I've never had an attack. I mean, I've never had a detailed dream like this about an attack on American soil. Never had it. But this dream literally woke me up out of my sleep. Now, in this dream, I was upstairs in a, what looked like an apartment. And I, <clears throat> the TV was on. And in the TV, the news suddenly came on and they were showing uh, uh, American soldiers and army tanks flooding the streets. And the first thing I thought of was something's going down. I better go to the store and get a whole bunch of water. I remember saying that out of my mouth. I came back. And, I mean, I went downstairs. I didn't come back. I went downstairs. I didn't get to the store. I went downstairs and went out the gate. And I looked up the street to my left. And over the horizon, there were like hills in the background. I don't know if they were mountains or hills, but they were something in the background. And then there was a cluster of buildings all at the, you know, between us and the mountains. Up in the mountain, you know, or hills or whatever. And... All of a sudden, these planes are flying from that section up in the sky. They're not going up. They're already up there. And it's a, a slew of them. It looked like 50 to 100 of them all clustered together in a line of about maybe six or seven rows of planes. And they were so high up, they looked small, but I knew they weren't jets. I don't know what country they came from. I don't know. I thought they were ours getting ready to go defend our land. But guess what? As soon as uh, about maybe the first 20 went overhead, or maybe the first 40, all of a sudden, big explosions started going off simultaneously. It almost looked like one massive explosion, but I could tell by the sound it was it was a bunch of explosions. It was not a mushroom cloud, but it was a bunch of explosions. Now, the scary part was this. <clears throat> in this particular in this particular dream, uh, when I saw the planes going overhead, I looked to my right. And all of a sudden, our streets are not filled with our soldiers anymore. Our street, the street I was on, this isn't TV. All of a sudden, I'm looking at soldiers from another country with another uniform. And the uniforms were black, very thick. I don't know if they were made of canvas, but they were very thick, long army coats for the cold weather. And their hats look like they were shaped like not an oval, but they were squared at the end and then opened up and then squared back and narrowed back in and from back to front. And then there was a beanie. Now, here's the trip. Oh, a lot of them were talking with our accent. They sounded like our people. And I'm thinking, what country has taken over ours all of a sudden? Who are these people flooding our streets? And they started questioning the people, you know, walking the, the pedestrians. And I turned around and scurried myself back up in my apartment. Then I woke up. It was so sudden, you guys. It made me think of what the Bible says when it says, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. That was spooky. We, you know, I pray that God would get some of us who he knows. He says he will not put on us more than we can take. 
And Lord, if I can't take it, if many of us can't take it, take us out of here before it gets to that. But if you want us to be here to be a beacon until you come to get your people, give us the courage, the strength, I mean the inner strength, the fortitude to go through this stuff in faith, in faith, not in fear. We have to be in faith because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world, no matter how it appears. And when they don't give you water because you don't take the mark, you've got a father that can bring water out of a rock. You've got a father that can send quail to drop food right at your doorstep. So we have to start believing for miracles. Brush up on all the miracles in the Bible of God's supernatural provision. And fear not, no matter how scary it seems. And that dream was scary. Fear not. It was sobering, but I didn't feel fear. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when reality kicks in, but let's also pray to God delays this for a while, buys us a little more time. God bless you, my Lord in heaven.